30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, otherwise mostly cloudy, northwest wind around 10. Tonight, slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, some patchy fog, mostly cloudy, low near 55, north wind around 5, coming fall. Tomorrow, most... <laughs> Very good pattern right now in the Hayward area on crawler harnesses. What do walleyes look like on sonar? Summertime is a time for combing lots of water at a time. It is a great night of walleye fishing out here. Um, we're going to showcase something today which I touched on a little bit in a previous video just the other week. Um, spinner rigging. Summer is perfect time of year uh, to get out here, really whatever walleye lake you're on, and pull crawlers on crawler harnesses and bottom bouncers or inline weights and catch a whole bunch of walleyes doing it. So, deadly effective technique, very good pattern right now in the Hayward area on crawler harnesses. So today we're gonna show you how to do it. Fish. On the board. Right where he should have been. Not even to the spot we're actually trying to fish yet. That did not take too much time. all by myself today so probably gonna lose a few doing this try to load the rod up always keep in tension and then reel back down to them. spinner rigs are effective open water spinner rigs are effective on structure nice walleye right there i'm gonna go ahead and scoop them up Oh, hung up on the net. There we go. There is our first walleye. Like I said, very effective way to fish, um, really all summer long, and deadly effective. When these fish don't want to eat cranks, you just can't get a lot of these fish you're marking to go. There we go. It's about a, I don't know, 18 inch Hayward area walleye right there. Literally just got set up. Um, probably about 10 minutes into the first pass here. Wasn't really even anticipating a bite, but uh, we're gonna let that guy go, catch a whole bunch more of them. So, one of the most common questions I get asked when I do a video, any video, um, is what do walleyes look like on sonar? Well, walleyes can look like a lot of different things on sonar, depending on how close they are to the bottom, how far they are up, how potted up they are. But basically on sonar, a walleye will look like, or a bunch of walleyes will look like this. They could look like this or they could look like this. Now, that's just on sonar. Now, if you're using like down imaging, a walleye might look like this. These are some of the same images. They could look like this. Or on side imaging, they could look like this. You can see the dashing off to the side here. So that's basically what walleyes look like on sonar. Now, those are a whole bunch of walleyes on a spot, which is kind of like what you would want to fish, essentially. And uh, that's one of the biggest questions I get asked. The more confidence you have in realizing what you're looking at, Obviously, the more fish you're going to catch. Doesn't feel super big, but it's probably another decent fish. Come here, buddy. There we go. There's another one. He's only about 15 inches long, but we'll take him. Eater size walleyes love the spinner rigs too. And it's probably one of the, actually the best ways just to pile up a whole bunch of eater-sized walleyes um, and have a shot at a big fish. So we'll dump that guy back and look for a big one. Now, where would you fish a spinner rig? That is important too, because you're not going to fish a spinner rig on a tiny little hump with nothing around it, right? If there's no fish suspended around it and just fish on the hump, you might as well just spend all your time fishing right in the cluster of fish like this. Bulk, what you kind of want is a large area. Um, with packs of fish on it or a whole bunch of fish scattered around. So what I might look for is instead of fishing one little hump, look for a big hump or a big flat that has fish roaming around it. Now, a lot of what I'm looking for right now is depths of 20 to 35. If I'm fishing 35, I'm not really putting my baits down 35. I'm putting my baits down 25 because most of these fish are suspended five feet up. If I'm coming over humps that are 
17 or come over flats that are 17 to 25, I'm still putting that bait down, maybe ticking 17 feet um, you know, on the shallow side, and then on my deeper ones, I might be running them 20 feet over 25. So even though I'm running bottom bouncers, I don't might not necessarily have my bait close to the bottom. This is the middle of summer. There's fish suspended, there's fish on bottom, there's fish everywhere. And a lot of times covering bigger flats like this one, is perfect for spinner rigs. A lot of times these fish want live bait, and if a crankbait bite dies, I'd much rather pull cranks. You don't have to deal with night crawlers, um, you can go faster, um, and stuff like that. But a lot of times these fish want that live bait on a moving presentation. A spinner rig is pretty much the only thing. It's a perfect thing, um, a perfect tool to get this job done this time of year. And they catch a ton of walleyes pretty much no matter where walleyes live. Just put the rod back down, and a planer board drop back. This one feels slightly heavier, but it's tough to tell yet uh, with the board still on. I try to do this all by myself. The best thing you can do if you're unclipping boards by yourself is go slow. Like to do rod in one hand, kind of walk back like that, to keep the rod loaded up, and then reel back down to them. Just like that. Oh yeah, look at that guy. Got him. Just thick fish up here. Absolute quality walleyes. A lot of people don't realize how good the walleye fishing actually is here in the Hayward area. Tremendous fishing. All right, now let's talk about some rigging real quick. Um, spinner rigs in the clear water, I have one very consistent color that just kind of catches fish. Um, seems like no matter what, uh, it's kind of like that holographic, uh, purple or blue blades with the either silver or blue beads. Um, Northland makes this one. You can tie your own or do some other stuff, but um, rigging the crawler, actually before we even get into that, now you're moving pretty slow when you're using a spinner rig. I like about one, two, uh, sometimes one, five, one, six, if I'm like on a real shallow weed line. Um, but you need sharp hooks, and a lot of the hooks are good that come in the package, but I will almost always take and just Touch them up a little bit to make them very sticky. Um, you're just moving so slow that you need a very sticky hook um, to essentially hook a fish at a slow speed. Now sometimes they're just choking it down and you can catch a fish on the dullest hook out there, but I like to touch them up a little bit, get them extra super sharp um, for those fish that just might grab on and bounce off right away. So um, once I've done that, I'm pretty much all ready to go. Let's talk about our weight real quick. You can use inline weights of a variety of sizes or bottom balancers. Um, I, like to, I tend to like bottom balancers. A lot of times if I'm pulling open water, I'm still coming over a lot of humps um, you know, in, in between the open water stretches. So I like a bottom balancer. This is a three quarter. Um, I like running this, you know, anywhere from typically about 65 I'm working, you know, kind of like that 15 to 18 foot zone. Um, and then I'll, I'll run this thing out to 100 or 115, 120 even, depending on how deep I want to work. Um, you can go to a heavier one. I always like going with the lightest one I can, just seems to stay out of more snags. Um, now the bait, very important. Um, basically crawler here. Now this isn't like do or die, you're going to catch a fish or not catch a fish. But I like to thread it pretty much straight on that front hook, bunch it up there over the snell, and then come back, give just a little bit of slack in there, and then I'll hook it just like that. Just reeling in lines to move, got a little bit off the brake, and that board got slammed. Got him. It is a great night of walleye fishing out here. That's probably another one, about 21 and a half right in there. Quality of fish is just unreal when you get into the right kind of stuff, um, especially off structure. I'd say this time of year, a lot of guys have a tendency kind of to lock down a little bit too much in the structure. And summertime is a time for combing lots of water at a time. You can either do that or basically, uh, you know, pull up to a, a pot of fish and fish them real quick. But summertime's a lot of moving and that's the reward right there. Thank you.